Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you my morning routine that I follow every single day. And you can follow this too, because this is very simple. I'm not here to bore you. I'm not here to give you an unrealistic routine that only the 1% follow. This is very simple. Whether you're in high school, whether you're in college, whether you're working a nine to five job, whether you're just at home right now, not doing much, doesn't matter. You can follow this routine, I can guarantee you, is going to bring you results with your body, with your mind, with your spirit, with your social game, literally everything, because it covers everything. Personally with me, this works well because I go to school, so in that five to eight a.m. range, I can get my work done, whatever I need to do. And you can adjust this, because my work, what I need to do, what I do for creating content, etc., etc., can be different. It may be for you working on an online business, but also adjust to your needs. But anyways, let's get straight into it. So 5 a.m., that's the wake up. Yeah, I wake up at 5 a.m., I get up, I brush my teeth, I journal, I get ready for the day, I get dressed, and I make my bed. And if I feel kind of groggy from the night, let's say I had a bad sleep maybe, I was a, maybe I was warm in the night, I would have a cold shower. So I either have a cold shower at this point, but as soon as I wake up, or I have a cold shower after my workout, which we'll get to later. Consists of brushing my teeth, journaling, making my bed, getting dressed, and optional cold shower. And then I hop into a five to 10 minute meditation, depending on how I'm feeling, depending on how much work I have for the day, I will hop into a meditation. Five minutes minimum, and about 15 minutes maximum. Again, it really depends on my day. And you can apply this too. Yeah, with meditation, I truly believe that everybody should adopt the habit. It doesn't have to be a 10 to 15 minute, like some self-improvement guru on the internet. It doesn't have to be that. Whatever works best for you, and most of the time, a five to 10 minute routine of meditation works great for me. And then now it's about 5.30 and I work out about seven. So at this point, I'll have a little pre-workout meal. It won't be very much because I don't like training on a full stomach. I'll absolutely hate it. I'd rather train on an empty stomach, but some people are different. With me, I probably have a 300 calorie meal. It might be two bananas and a couple of dates. That may be my pre-workout snack. And that will fuel me for an hour workout in the gym. So that probably takes about 10 minutes, so it's about 5.40 right now. And this is where I get into my one hour and a half or an hour and 20 minutes of work for the morning. Now, because I'm not really awake in the morning and I'm not as productive as I would be in the afternoon, I usually leave the smaller tasks for the morning. So some tasks I don't have to be very productive with is reading. Yeah, I can be relaxed. I can be not as awake and still take in information. I can do that. So usually the first activity I do in the morning is read because it's a more of a uh, less engaged activity. So I'll read about half an hour. As you can see right now, I'm reading the book Power of Now. I've read this book once before. It's absolutely amazing. I'm this type of guy to read books over and over again until I really take in every single word the book has to offer. That's just who I am. But also with this morning routine, you can do anything. Yeah, maybe you are the most productive you can be in the morning and you may start with the hardest, most engaging, most productive tasks, first of all. And then that brings me to around six o'clock to 6.15. Now this is where I'm usually more awake. So I get into editing my videos just like this. It may be a TikTok um, or short video or it may be a long form video just like this. Um, whatever I'm feeling like. If I'm feeling like, yep, let's edit a long video, let's edit a long video. If I feel like editing a short video, I'll edit a short video, doesn't really matter. That usually takes up about half an hour to an hour of my time, again, depending on how much time I have in the morning. And then, that's when my food is really digest, I'm feeling awake after those two activities, um, and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to work out, so I head out to my back door gym, right behind here, as you can see, right here, that's my gym. Um, and I head out there, and I get a workout in. Now, as you're seeing right now, this is a Tuesday for me. As you're seeing on the screen right now, I'm hitting a push workout. So chest, shoulders, and triceps. Um, my, If you want my workout routine, it's Monday legs, Tuesday uh, push, Wednesday pull, repeat. So Thursday legs, Friday push, Saturday pull, you get what I mean, and then Sunday rest slash stretching. Uh, that's my routine. So I hit a good workout routine. Now this consists of four sets of dumbbell bench press, uh, three sets of overhead press, uh, sitting or standing, whatever I really feel like in the moment. Dips or explosive push-ups, a bodyweight exercise I like to throw in there. 
And then I finish off with lateral raises and skull crushes as well. So that's my workout routine, about 15 to 18 sets, wherever, I, again, whatever I feel like. And also I finish with push-ups to failure just to get blood flow to the muscles that I've worked so they recover uh, in a much better way. And then after the workout, if I feel like stretching, I will stretch for like five minutes. Usually it doesn't happen, but usually it's around eight o'clock now. And this is where I get my post-workout meal, which is always a shake because it's easy, it's high calorie because I'm trying to bulk up, and it's high protein. It works for me. And because I head off to school about 8.30, I can't be in a rush. So I might as well get a quick little meal in. It takes me about 10 minutes to make and about five minutes to finish. Um, if I really scull it down. But yeah, that's that takes up about 15 minutes of my time drinking my smoothie and making it. And then that other 15 minutes before 8.30 is just getting ready for school. So I will shower if I haven't showered yet. Then I will get dressed, put my school clothes on, get my lunch ready for the day, fill up my drink bottles. I'll pack my bag. I'll put my computer in my bag. That's it. That is my morning routine. It's not complicated. It's very simple. I always make sure in the morning if you've read The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, I always make sure to win my daily private victory first things first. I always work out in the morning. I'm not an afternoon guy. I feel so much better at myself when I work out in the morning. But again, it may be different for you. You may replace working out with, I don't know, walking your dog. A morning routine is so important. I, I really believe that. If you wake up on time, you set a to-do list the night before and you tick off things as you go in the morning, that will build you so much momentum for the day, it's not funny. I don't care if the most important part of your day is your work or your schoolwork or your studying. A strict morning routine consisting of usually a cold shower, exercise, that's really it, and meditation. If you add some sort of variation of those habits into your daily routine, into your morning routine, your whole day is going to be much more productive. That is why I implement those three things into- Yo, what's up guys? So at this point in the video, my camera unexpectedly died, like literally out of nowhere. Uh, but all that was rest of the video is me asking that you should subscribe because why not? It's free and it benefits you and me. So you might as well, but Anyways, I will catch you guys in the next video. That was my full morning routine. That's what I do literally every single day. But as you saw, I did have a sprained ankle in today's video. So it was a bit different. But anyways, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.